In this second screencast from my workshop on using Web 2.0 tools inside of Desire to Learn, I'm going to take a look at another tool. This tool can be used for um, presentations, such as PowerPoint presentations and similar things. I'm going to talk a little bit about SlideShare. And SlideShare is a tool, uh, again, totally free, that allows you to upload completed PowerPoint and, again, or similar uh, files. For example, you can even upload a PDF. It'll make a presentation from each page of the PDF. Um, but you are able to upload that into SlideShare where they create a little flash video with a player for that. So for example, here is kind of the old-fashioned um, SlideShare. This is a, power, a, sh a very short PowerPoint that I put together just uh, in, in preparation for the Desire to Learn user conference, uh, July of 2007 and you can navigate along the bottom here or you can just you get the little arrow to go forwards and backwards and you can just click through the slides in a slide share so they give you the html code that allows you to embed this easily in a content page uh, the nice thing is that by converting your slides into flash they uh, make it very easy for students to be able to view this as opposed to trying to upload your powerpoint presentations kind of uh, with native html and that doesn't always work and depends on what browser they're using and all of those other types of complications that there can be and so with with SlideShare basically they they uh, convert your presentation into something that's very easy to view on the web so that's one advantage to it it also uh, at the SlideShare site you can uh, make comments uh, create tags for it and that sort of thing but the the embed code I think is really the uh, most important piece if you're going to use this within desire to learn so it really doesn't have a, a big bandwidth hit or that type of thing. Now just recently, in the fall of uh, late summer, early fall of 2007, SlideShare introduced a new feature where you can also upload an MP3, an audio file, with narration, and then you can sync together your narration with the uh, slide transitions. So this particular presentation does have the audio file. I'll play a portion of it to give you a taste of how it works. And it's still buffering, so hang on. Hello, this is Barry Dahl at the Spirit College in Minnesota. I'm going to give you a brief audio description of the slides for the online student mentor program at LSC. Just give you a little bit of a setting for LSC. We have uh, 2018. You can jump ahead if you want to, and the audio will catch we up. We started the online student mentor program back in 2009. This slide shows you some of the numbers. Uh, we started with just five students who were serving as mentors. So that gives you an idea of the capability. Sorry, the sound. I didn't really have the sound set very well for the uh, slide share sound to come into this particular video. So I hope you get the gist of it anyway. Um, so I think that's a pretty handy tool for putting presentations into your course. Uh, they're not full screen, but um, hopefully the presentations are made in a way that you can still view them easily and uh, I think that it makes a, a good viewing experience for the students. That's all for now.